Inner blossoming, the only season of joy, excerpt from Horizons Beyond the Mind. Blossoming into your innerness or Buddhahood is the only joy that spurts from deep within. Before this inner blossoming, you have gone through various seasons. And after this inner blossoming, there will be no more different seasons. Instead, there will be only the season of bliss and an oceanic overflow each finite moment. Each finite moment, only the infinite will overflow out of your being. First, the blossoming is a great benediction and even the greater benediction is life after this inner blossom. Outwardly nothing changes. However, deep within there is an entire revolution out of which that which evolves is bliss, the season of bliss. Khalil Gibran has put it beautifully through the merger of the river into the ocean. Verily, Khalil says, when a river comes close to the ocean, it waits. It waits for a moment, looks backward. All those joys, the mountains, the virgin snows, where it originated, the forest, the solitude of the forest, the birds, their songs, the people, the plain, thousands of experiences, the long journey, and now the moment has come to disappear into the ocean. The whole past pulls backward. The whole past says, wait, you can be lost forever. You will never be the same. Without your bangs, how can you be? You will lose your definition. You will lose everything. Exactly the same happens when you come closer to your inner flowering. All that you have considered up to now, the only joy, all is being lost now. In a flash of a moment, everything will be lost. All that you have cherished up to now, all ties, all desires, bondages, relations, etc., or dissolving the moment you enter the ocean of eternal bliss. A great temptation arises. There is no devil to tempt you then. Instead, it is your own mind, your own past experiences, your whole conditioned past tries to pull you backward. But now nothing can pull you backwards. The call has been heard, the invitation has arrived and accepted, and you cannot resist anymore. For eons you have been waiting for this moment and it is here. Nothing can resist. Now, no temptation, no emotions, in fact, nothing can hold you back. The known is dying, disappearing, a new beginning, a new joy awaits thee. There is tremendous serenity amongst all this. In that serenity, fear, doubt, words are all going to vanish, vanish forever. It is a great occasion of joy. All seasons of joy are merging or retreating into innerness. Sever all ties, give up all desires, resist all temptations hold no more 
and then rises the inner sun of awareness. Then wherever you live, in the city or the country, in the valley or on the hills, there is great joy. And it is not only that you alone are choice, instead wherever you are, the presence brings a climate of joy. Joy surrounds. It is said that wherever Buddha would move, trees would bloom out of season, rivers would start flowing in the summer season when there was no water. Wherever Buddha would move, there would be peace, silence, love, compassion all around. This is really so. Not that trees will bloom out of season. These are metaphors. And whenever there is Buddha, something mysterious starts happening. People start blooming out of season, joy spreads and great waves of joy surrounds. When you enter the Buddha field, you enter a totally different world. It is the world of blessings, the world of benedictions. Then even in the empty forest, you will find joy. You will hear your own echoes, echoes of your heartbeat. Because you want nothing, you are simply overflowing and you are everywhere joyous because the only thing that destroys your natural capacity of rejoicing is your desiring mind. The desiring mind makes you a beggar. Once all desires have been dropped, you are the emperor. Joy is a natural state of your being. Just let there be no desire and see. When there is no desire, there is no mind. When there is no mind, there is no turmoil. When there is no desire, there is no past, no future. Instead, there is bliss, there is harmony, there is oneness. And when there is no desire, you are utterly contented here now. And to be contented here now is joy. This is the only eternal season of joy. And whenever such a man moves, wherever he moves, he brings his climate with him. A Buddha is in the season of his springs all the year round. And fortunate are those who come in some way close to him. Blessed are those who become associated with him because they also share his joy, his benediction, his wisdom, his love, his light and everything that he is. It is said that wherever Buddha would move, trees would bloom out of season. Rivers would start flowing in the summer season when there was no water. Wherever Buddha would move, there would be peace, silence, love, compassion all around. Whenever there is a Buddha, something mysterious starts happening deep within you. People start blooming out of season, joy spreads and great wave of joy wafts in the air. And this bliss is the ultimate light, the ultimate flowering, the flowering of your inner Buddhahood.